Hello, my name is Emilia. Today, I will be talking about Malaysian Sign Language. Malaysian Sign Language was formed in 1998 with the Malaysian Federation of the Deaf and has grown in popularity among deaf leaders and participants. It is based on American Sign Language or known as ASL, yet they are very different languages. According to the alphabet of the Malaysian Sign Language, it is similar with the ASL. When they are having difficulties in communicating, they could just spell out the alphabet by using the sign language one by one. Few words are also being borrowed from the English words because it is much easier for them to spell it out using the alphabets. There are two commonly used methods in Malaysia, which is BIM, Bahasa Isyarat Malaysia, and KTBM, Kotangan Bahasa Malaysia. These methods are used daily by the deaf community in Malaysia as well as in the schools. The origins of Malaysian Sign Language, also known as Bahasa Isyarat Malaysia or BIM, may be traced back to 1954. In this year, the Federation School for the Deaf was established in Penang and opened its doors to students. It was a deaf boarding school that welcomed students from all around the country who were deaf. These children who came from a variety of various backgrounds began to create their own signs in order to communicate with their peers. Mr. Tan Yap, a pharmacist from Johor, Malaysia, took unpaid vacation multiple times in the early 1960s to attend courses in interpretation and sign language in the United States. He carried his understanding of American Sign Language back with him and he began teaching the sign language to deaf children, nurses and few other hearing individuals after becoming deaf himself. KTBM is a teaching method developed by hearing educators and linguists between 1980 and 1986. Manually coded Malay, KTBM, is the only form of sign recognized by the Malaysian Ministry of Education as a method to teach Malay to deaf students in formal education settings rather than serving as an official language. Deaf students learn Malay language more effectively when teachers utilize KTBM to assist them in their lessons. Learning sign language is very important because the deaf community is a culture and they must be included just like other culture. It shows that we respect them as a human being and it is also important to just treat them the same as others. They do not need our pity, they just want to be understood. Most of the deaf language requires the body language and facial expression in order for them to express what they are talking about. This is because sign language does not have a tone, therefore the non-verbals are very important part in communicating with the deaf people. That is all for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new about sign language in Malaysia.